Please welcome to the stage DA Mpumalanga leader Jane Setole and DA Mayor of Twane, Celia Brank. Good morning, Congress. So I recently got a job in the capital city and my team and I will certainly be drawing inspiration from the remarkable turnaround that has been achieved in Amgeni. In municipalities across South Africa, in diverse places over the past quarter century, the DA has got down to business and governed well. It has been a story of delivery to the people for upliftment benefit and progress for all of the people. And it has been a story of clean, effective, frugal governance. These aren't just our claims, they encompass independent recognition and evaluation time and time again. Because we as a party are dedicated and committed to the South African people. We have built almost 25 years of governance capacity as we prepare for national government and make no mistakes we are preparing to govern South Africa because we are convinced that that is the hope to build a better future for our country this is the hope to dismantle the criminal state to end cater deployment to stop corruption and to get government working again and election 2024, Democrats, election 2024 can be our tipping point. Democrats, South Africa, South Africans, the prospects for 2024 are stunning. As we come together today, the governing party of this country has never been as weak as it is now. We need to look no further than the opinion polls published by Rapport and City Press recently. And we can look at independent opinion polls. We can look at the ANC's opinion polls. And they all are telling us the same thing. The governing party is now down to support in the 40s. It has unquestionably lost the support of the majority of South Africans. Now is the best chance ever for change. At support levels in the 40s, the party currently occupying the union buildings is on notice. The people no longer want the ANC in government, and as they fall, we will rise. At our highest support levels ever, only the DA is within striking distance of the ANC. The gap gets down to the single digits. We are within striking distance, and this is what it looks like. A gap between the DA and the ANC frequently polled under 10%. Under 10%. This race has never been closer. In election 2024, it is the DA and only the DA that can bring the ANC under 50% and form a new government. A stark DA is binnen tref afstand van die ANC. En dit is die enigste manier wat ons verandering kan teweeg bring. Kom ons doen dit vir ons partij, maar kom ons doen dit bovenal vir ons land. Baie dankie. Democrats, indeed. As they fall, we rise. The strong DA is making inroads and progress across South Africa, closing the gap year after year, election after election, and by election after by election. For this reason, we say confidently only the DA can do it. 
you see it play out in more and more by-elections and you saw it play out when the DA made gains and got more watts than we've ever had in elections 2021. Amanda! You see it play out as our support swells and grows in all communities and in the polls. When the Social Research Foundation part, uh, uh, measured party support in the last few months, they found that for the first time, the DA has now overtaken the ANC to become the biggest and most supported party in urban areas. And this, tre and this trend, Democrats, it continues outside of the bigger cities around the country, shown by the last few months by elections. Let me share with you what I mean as we grow outside cities too. In the rural Western Cape municipality of Prince Albert, of a base of 30% in 2021, the DA grew by 66.8% in a by-election. A surge in this rural community, the DA support is growing. And in Karibek, in the Northern Cape, a town in Carnarvon, a stunning outcome for the DA as our support there grew in the last by-election by 219%. The DA won the word from the ANC. We now have our first council in the Southern Karoo. And like Karibek, the DA's momentum across the country grows by elections in Matsikama, in Okmukchikima, Ditsobota, and Etsekwini all tell the same story, Democrats. More than double digit growth for the DA. In my home province of Mpumalanga, I am so proud of the by election that we had in Governor Bacon. We grew by almost 10%. The DA support at the last by-elections in just two and a half years, the DA has won five from five wards from other parties, and two of those were from the ANC. The DA is growing. Even in the wards that we don't win of the ANC or other parties, we grow, and we grow in a diverse array of communities. A few months ago, a by-election took place in a ward in Nyanga in Cape Town. This has been an NC stronghold, but in that by-election, our growth was recorded over 370% Democrats. For the DA to grow our support, 370% in a Nyanga ward tells you that the scents are shifting. Our momentum into election 2024 couldn't be stronger. We are within striking distance and the sense are shifting Democrats. Viva DA Viva! Viva DA Viva!